Hello, Tom Q Man here. I'm going to show you how to use the eye control pad on the Galaxy S2. I have um, a few different things installed in stock, so that's why my lock screen and home screen will look probably different to yours, but overall the process is the same. Right, first, you will need. If you um, want to play N64 or any of those series of emulators, you'll have to get the Slide Me application marketplace, which I'll show you how. First, you'll have to go into your settings to enable, and then applications and unknown sources at the top, very top box ticket, just and it'll pop up that, and you just want to click OK. That'll allow you to install applications not from the Android market. Next, you'll have to go to slideme.org and it'll come up with this screen. Just tap download on that. Sam v4.3 which will download the slide me application market right, once that done just tap um, it won't come up with a replaced application because you obviously have haven't got it installed like me just install it open All right so this is slide me um, just hit menu and search if you know exactly what you want and we'll just go for N64 oid you do have to purchase it though I've already purchased it beforehand it's $4.99 so probably about £2.53 if you're in Britain like me so um, I can't Obviously, I can just I'll re-download it to show you the process. Right, and then it gives us tells you what permissions it's got, which is control vibrations, modify, and delete external device connections, Bluetooth, and more Bluetooth. So OK, that there we go. It's downloaded. Replace application. Install. Just open it up. The list of um, games I have on my phone, and you want to go go back. Just hit menu settings, and then other settings. If you're using Blue IME, which you shouldn't need to anymore, you just have to you go into other settings and use input method and take that box on. But it has got a control input for built into the emulator now so you want to turn your eye control pad on and you want it in the default shipping mode which I believe is turn on and hold Y if you've turned it into another mode right once that's flashing um, we need to turn the Bluetooth on and then Bluetooth gamepads controller 1 Connect. Um, you will have to scan and search for the eye control pad and pair to it if you've never done it before. And it says it's connected, so. Um, key mappings is another. And device. You want to change the device driver because it's got all these built in. Just so eye control pad, or if you've got Phone Joy, it's the same process for all of them. Wemo, any of that, just that. And then key mappings you'll probably want to configure. So it's easy as just tapping what you want and then pushing on the D pad if you're doing D pad or any button or the analog stick just set up like that. Which you can save it as well, your profile if you worried about losing it. And then let's just go back. Oh and also you have input settings. You can enable rumble which will vibrate use your phone's vibration motor to vibrate instead of the rumble pack. Uh, make sure you've ticked virtual keypad off and you'll get the best then because obviously you don't need it. And then just load away something. Chill.
I have got the universal adapter, so let's just come that in. And then you can um, press menu to fast forward, go to settings, save, load your save data. It is a um, save frame, so you can save anywhere in the game. Um, and then when you're finished playing, just close and exit out of that. Oh, actually, we need to just go back in to that. I think we need to disconnect the controller from inside the app because. So we can just hit Bluetooth and turn it off, I think. Clear. No, still active. Right, I'm not too sure why that's still active, but that's gone now. There we go. Right. And turn the eye controller pad off just by holding start until the light goes like that. Done. Right. Thank you for watching.